Hello, Collective. Thanks for tuning in to Chewing Wheel Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the new moon coming up September 24. Ooh. This incense I have is quite strong. say power divine power incense sticks so got these at a local um, <clears throat> store locally owned family business it's nice to support small businesses in your community as this is a collective reading so as with any collective read, take what resonates, leave what does not. This may not be your story. This may not be your time. Keep that in mind. So, Spirit, what do we have for the collective new moon? So, what is good? <laughs> right? Isn't that what we want to know? What is good? for the collective this upcoming new moon <clears throat> Ten wands. there we go Sheesh. now we're <laughs> well I think I have to take those since they flew over <clears throat> so, okay. so the ten of wands crossed with the world um, talk about coming to a halt and um, And, and it being timely, collective. <clears throat> so with that, wow, okay. And so for some of you, maybe that is a journey of passion because in your foundation here, I see this six of wands where you're gonna be celebrated. And with this four of wands, this is kind of the, so for a lot of you collective, this is something that you've already kind of found. You know, maybe you've been married before. Maybe you um, had a good relationship at one time and you didn't get married to that person. I mean, a lot of us have, you know, some at least good experiences. Um, but this, in this position, this assumes that you've kind of found your person, so to speak. So <clears throat> I feel like, especially in this center position, it's almost like with the world card crossing you, collective, um, it's like the struggle is over. And like I said, it's timely. So with this new moon spirit, what do we have in the crown? The Knight of Swords. Do, 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 do. You ever you ever hear that like need to know basis? Like somebody's on a need to know basis. I don't know why I'm feeling that with this Knight of Swords. It could be uh, dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. <clears throat> Collective. And so far, there's a lot of fire energy with these wands as well. Oof. Three of Swords. <clears throat> All right, Collective. I feel like, so for a lot of you, this is kind of, hmm. It's like maybe there was a happy ending at one time and you realize that it's time to drop the burdens okay of maybe holding that up and because in this forward energy here it's this three of swords so i feel like for a lot of you you're going to be leaving behind something that you thought was kind of your picture perfect Oof, that's kind of tough. <laughs> tough one. And if this does not resonate, you know, uh, so it may not be your message today, okay? <clears throat> so, Spirit, what do we have for the collective? Uh, here. Ooh, Eight of Wands. Look at all these wands. This is amazing. <sighs> you know, and the Knight of Swords is a... Uh, 
is a faster acting knight as well um, in terms of communication. And since you get the Eight of Wands here, so that's kind of double on the communication. So something is going to be happening here, Collective. I feel like for some of you, you're like breaking up with somebody. You know, you're like, this ain't working anymore. I'm tired of carrying this burden around. Like, it's not, I'm done with it. And I'm, and I'm ready to put a bow on it and, you know, kind of rebirth myself in essence. And I feel like potentially this is going to be something that happens quickly for a lot of you. Because, you know, here is where you want to be, um, you know, celebrating, okay? And maybe it's just in a different manner here. So... Uh, spirit, what have we got for the collective in the environment? <clears throat> spirit. Woo! Leo, strength card. Holding strong to your ideals. I The Leo bonus... <clears throat> reading I kind of mentioned this like about having standards so the fact that this is in your environment card and it's telling you collective to be strong like yeah because you know we all kind of go through some of this sometimes right but that doesn't mean that you know life is over okay so what's in the hopes and fears spirit for collective and for this new moon So, you know, the new moon's a good time, set new intentions, you know, clearing of energy. <clears throat> okay. So the seven of swords here indicates that, you know, this breakup may be occurring because you feel like you've, you know, been betrayed. Um, you know, or, you know, somebody hasn't been honest. So what's in the outcome here, spirit? Page of Pentacles. So, some kind of offer coming forth. And again, that's kind of with this with this newness. Okay, being strong. I I think I need to do some clarification here. Collective. Hopefully, yeah. I got. I have plenty of time. It's funny how some of the the. Um, <clears throat> The water signs I did and then Leo's read ended up being like 26 minutes I like really never spent that much time on a read before so I was kind of surprised so if you do happen to have Leo in your chart or a cross watcher um you know the fact that I drew the strength card in your environment collective you know maybe you're the Leo that you know that read is for um but you know when we think of the lion you know and that's, you know, we think of, you know, king of the jungle. So when your environment, like, kind of, <clears throat> I was even kind of having this conversation with somebody earlier tonight, like, you know, sometimes you have to remind people who they're dealing with. Like, just because you don't say a lot, maybe, that doesn't mean that you are blind to their actions and behaviors, right? That just doesn't, that just means that for some of us, we don't want to get involved in those cycles of drama. All right. It's your fire fun. Yeah, exactly, because we've learned our lessons, Hierophant. <laughs> yeah, we're like, okay, because some of us, it's like, sometimes these burdens that we carry aren't even ours, right? So learning our lesson and saying, hey, maybe it's time. I love how these messages come out. Thanks, Spirit. Keeps, keeps my job really easy. <laughs> Oh boy. All right. What? Clarify the world card here. Ace of Cups. So here's that. Okay. So. <clears throat> yeah, Jody Watley. I'm looking for a new love, baby. A new love. Right. Because you're like, I'm done with this. I learned my lesson. I'm looking for a new love. Maybe this is just the love that I'm going to be giving myself. 
or actually though thinking about the ace of cups we it's it's important to think about that you know since you have learned your lesson collective now for some of you maybe some of you are still learning but this is a good opportunity because like i said with the world card the time is now okay so with this new moon be open and receptive receptive see how it's the cup is placed in the hands okay so if your arms are crossed, like, in some, you know, you can't, you can't hold the cup, right? Like you have to reach out your hand in order to receive. Okay. So think about that collective spirit. What do we have? Clarify six of wands. These are like, that's right. I want to be like, you know, maybe this is kind of like an extended Leo, another Leo. Ooh star Aquarius so oh my gosh so that was in the first position of my last read <clears throat> as well very focused and the thing with the star uh, to remember um, especially astrologically speaking if you go out during the new moon cycle you can more clearly see the constellations and the stars okay and so with the six of wands energy Okay, this is the time, and in your foundation now, this is really kind of amazing. I feel like collective for a lot of you, you've started to accept who you are, okay? You're like, yes, I deserve to be celebrated. I deserve to ride on my white horse, you know what I mean? And maybe that's what you're coming to tell people, collective, you know? Because you're like, hey, I'm good, and um, don't mess with me. You know what I mean? And that means people that are trying to do this. Okay, so look out, look out, right? Whew, before I get ahead of myself. All right. Spirit, let's clarify those four wands, please. Let's see. Eight of Cups. Yeah, you already did your soul searching on this situation. And <clears throat> first, allow you collective, you had to walk away from it. Okay, this happy ending, you know, sometimes... You know, the picture isn't so picture perfect, right? And the picture is worth a thousand words, right? So, like, it's always like, what's the story behind the story? You know, or like, oh, they, you know, they look like they had such a happy life together, you know? And then it's like two hours later on Dateline, you know? <laughs> so, anyway, Spirit, what do we have? Uh, clarify this Knight of Swords for the collective, please. <clears throat> Eight of Swords. So I feel like for some of you, a collective, you've been trapped up with worry and doubt and possibly around this situation of rediscovering yourself. But with Leo's reading, what I did, um, what I, I want to clarify here for you now is that, you know, build upon those lessons, okay? Because, like, you've been granted then that opportunity to move forward, okay? So maybe part of what this night is, is like, it's coming to release you from these, you know, but you know, like the thing with the eight of swords is that you have the power within, but it's just kind of like maybe this night is kind of the, the catalyst, you know, because you are like ready in essence to take action. All right. So let's clarify the three swords, please. Spirit. Eight of Wands again. Oh, I love it when that happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're telling these people you're not fooling around, <laughs> basically. I mean, and, and you're like, look, I am, this is in your base here. So this, this is you starting these um, new vibes, <laughs> so to speak. And that's what's going to make your environment really strong right because you yeah you're not dealing <laughs> all right let's clarify this other eight of ones please spirit clarify the clarify Ooh, king of cups so maybe uh for some of you scorpio cancer pisces could be getting some communication male or female energy you could flip the flip the roles here you know it is the king could be dealing with a king. Um, you could be the king in this situation, okay? 
Um, possibly dealing with fire sign. You know, there's a lot of fire energy in here. Um, the Hierophants here, you know, that's Taurus, uh, Aquarius here as well. Spirit, let's clarify. Leo, strength. Yeah, the Nine of Wands. So, you know, the embattled soldier keeps trudging on, trudging on, trudging on. So it's like, and I've said this in other readings, you know, it's just kind of that one more push, one more push, right? And then, you know, when, when you do that, like, it's always that you, it's like, you're like, oh my God, I didn't think I could, right? You know, like, like the people that run the marathons, like, oh, I didn't think I could get past mile 20 or whatever, but they just, they keep going and eventually, you know, they hit that mark. So this is you also, I think, collective putting up boundaries, okay? The kind of boundaries where you've learned, you know, from this higher font here. Uh, Spirit, let's clarify the Seven of Swords. What a collective. You win. Five of Cups, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's some player, there's some player energy around here. And the thing is, collective, is that you're up on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you can sense it a mile away. Okay? You're like, I... <laughs> Clarify this page of pentacles, please, spirit, for collective. The magician. Okay. So with this page here, this is this is, you know, potentially starting a new business, right? Um <clears throat> being able to stand on your own, potentially outside of a partnership that you had to walk away from. Okay. And having an outcome that looks like what you want it to look like collective okay not what everybody else wanted it to look like and then you know when you lean too much on other people's expectations then sometimes you're disappointed right okay so I feel like that's what's happening here okay um I'm going to put I'm so curious what's on the bottom of the deck the five of swords yeah some of you have been dealing with this for a long time but see here's here's the ten of cups yeah okay wow collective vibe you know you just you never know what's going to come out on these uh, reads so as we are entering into the new moon and this is a messages from the light meditation oracle deck so please this as some guidance as you meditate on new intentions during this new moon cycle. Spirit, what do we have for the collective? What is the message? Contemplation. Is this not kind of like the same as meditation? So, you know, for some of you, this could be cleansing your space. Um, you know, maybe some of you are, you know, have a family or you have kids and, you know, sometimes it's hard to get alone time. So, you know, maybe just stepping outside your door for like a little breather, right? <laughs> and then they're going to be like, what are you doing out here? <laughs> Uh, so I'm meditating. <laughs> Contemplation. Seek a quiet place. Take time to evaluate and assess. Study. The mind must be prepared before novel solutions can appear. Okay. So, and that's this page of Pentacles, right, Collective? So, you know, this is, the page is kind of planting, helping plant the seeds. And, and this... Um, message that's coming towards you, um, you know, maybe it just needs t a little time to develop. So, you know, um, as a lot of you have realized, not everything is as it seems, right? So maybe sometimes need that full growth cycle like we've had now with the Ten of Wands and the World card, okay? To understand then the new direction 
And maybe for some of you, the page is also representing, you know, the purpose and the message. And the thing is, collective, you know, within yourself here. And, you know, the magician's ruled by Mercury, too, which, you know, there's a lot of Mercury retrograde. So the thing with the pentacles is these are, and you know, in Virgo season as well. <clears throat> okay, so you could be dealing with Virgo, um, Taurus, or Capricorn. But, um... You know, it's it's still kind of in some of that slow and steady. So again, with your environment, you know, have some persistence, okay? And just kind of remember, like, that you can not rest on your laurels, but enjoy the experience that you've been granted, okay? If that makes sense. So with that, I just saw the clock hit 2020 and I was thinking about that show this is 2020 you know with Barbara Walters and Hugh Downs um, I think he's passed I think Barbara Walters is still living I'm not sure anyway thanks for tuning in to Tarot please subscribe hit the notification bell drop a comment and uh, we'll see you next time